and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for a Jund Unsealing donation deck. That's what the two Ds stand for here. So we have a viewer submitted deck that looks pretty cool. We're playing a deck built around Sarkin's Unsealing. This core set 2019 enchantment. So whenever we cast any creature spell with power four, five, or six, not CMC with power four, five, or six, then we get to do four damage to any target. See, we can target creatures, planeswalkers, players, anywhere. So, uh, you know, all of these, uh, all these big things all trigger that. However, whenever we cast a creature spell with power seven or greater, then Sarkin's Unsealing deals four damage to each opponent and each creature and planeswalker they control. It deals four damage to everything. So we need all we need to do is cast a creature spell with power seven or greater. Hmm. What creature has power seven or greater from the new set? Oh, hey, how about that? Rotting Regisaur. Yep, we got Rotting Regisaur here. Perfect card for Sarkin's Unsealing. Yeah, this seems like a match made in heaven. So this will be a lot of fun. Of course, we got the Galtas also. Those are power seven or greater too. So yeah, we have like a Jun Dinos basically kind of deck here, but with these Sarkins Unsealings. These look pretty sweet. So we're going to go ahead and give this a try. See how it does. See if we can get this Unsealing down first, then start playing a bunch of dinosaurs and just uh, just basically wreck a bunch of, or just cause a bunch of hav havoc. There we go. Wreckage. I tried to say like wreckage and havoc at the same time, and I was going to say havage. That's not a word. That's not a word. <laughs> Anyway, this is our deck. It looks pretty cool. Um, the the biggest thing I have a question. I'm not exactly sure what we're doing with the Marauding Raptors in the sideboard. To be honest, I haven't really figured that out yet. Um, but you know, we'll see. Marauding Raptor seems like it should just be in our main deck over here. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna play some matches and kind of see what happens with it. Let's give it a try. I'm guessing I'm guessing right now, my guess right now is that against like Mono Red has like Chain Whirler that kills my Land War Elf, and I'm gonna be taking out Land War Elf and putting in Marauding Raptor instead. That's that's my guess there. <laughs> yep. One advantage of donating a deck to Todd is that you get to see your deck in the all foil version. Yep. <laughs> This deck did not did like did not have a lot of foils, honestly. Um, Galta is available on foil. I don't have. I maybe I should get Galta, but Sarkin's Unsealing, Registrar Alpha, Commune with Dinosaurs. They didn't. They didn't have like the full art version of all these cards. Temple of Mystery. All right, so keep it in our hand. It's a little slower, but we got the Unsealing, which is awesome. And you know our Commune with Dinosaurs should help us. Should kind of help us out here. Tough call here whether to get fourth land or rotting register. I'm gonna go with the land. So this could be a flash deck, which could be bad for us. Yep. <laughs> we were just playing we were just playing the flash deck though. So we can't be too mad. Um if unsealing resolves. Ooh, that's a good card. I'll just go ahead and play this. Yeah, the unsealing re effect is on cast. So if unsealing resolves, then we get to kill our opponent with a lot of stuff. Or we get to do a lot of things. It's just whether or not it will actually resolve. For now, of course, I would just want to get the Shifting Ceratops in play. Then next turn, I could go, like, Savage Stomp to try to kill something, and maybe they counter the Savage Stomp, and then I play Unsealing, and the Unsealing resolves. Maybe we can do that. Let's 
the Ceratops is pretty perfect here. Awesome. All right, unsealing's in there. <laughs> this is the matchup for Ceratops, so it was pretty fortunate for us. Dinosaur. Sarkhan's unsealing. We're doing it. We're doing it, chat. We're doing it. <laughs> this is a little bit overkill here. That's fine. attack with the two cutthroats. They could have. It was free. I need more mana for this Galta. I don't like them just drawing cards. That's fine. Next turn's gonna be awesome. <laughs> so I know the Ceratops does have reach. Yeah, you know, so if I ever have the one extra mana, I'll be able to um, block Sailor and stuff like that. All right, well, they got us down to four. Oh, I wish I could play that and Galta. Oh, man. We're, we're definitely just playing Galta, though. Called it pretty big. All right, I should not leave myself dead to a trickster at this point, so I'm not going to attack with the other one. I'm not going to let them just like draw a trickster or a bounce or an unsummon or whatever and get rid of Galta and then kill me. That would that would not be good. So, not attacking with both. I drew the unsummon. Good thing I didn't. Good thing I left my creature back. 
And there we go, Sargon's unsealing. Boom. That was pretty sweet. Hey, good job, Shadow. Made a gold gold one. Way to go. I, I know it's not like... Doesn't help being gold one over gold four as far as prizes go, but that's still a good accomplishment. Okay. So... What do we want to do against the flash deck? Do we, I mean, obviously we want Veil of Summer, and I guess we want Assassin's Trophy. And I guess we want Duress. Do we want like Vivian to try to play our things at instant speed? Do we want Flame Sweep? I feel like I'm just playing way too many things here. And we just don't actually play on ceilings in this matchup. So I'm going to try cutting like the mana creature stuff and still keep still keep my top end with the dinosaurs cuz they're super good. And just basically having the the low end be just tons of interaction. What's up, JMS? Thanks for that resub there. Appreciate that. That's our fifth sub of the day. Dinosaur. That's fine. As far as budget decks, Mr. Moo, the, the Demir flash deck that we just played is very budget. It it does have just eight the eight rare dual lands in blue black, but besides that doesn't have anything else. I I do think mono blue is pretty good also. I think if you want to be playing mono like mono blue is a good deck, I I do think. Hey, E Fact. Welcome back. Back for good entertainment. Aw, oh, thanks, E Fact. Thanks for the reset. Oh, why'd they have to draw the ambusher? Uh, beating Ambusher is pretty tough, to be honest. Especially, I, I don't have any removal for it. Hmm. Didn't didn't go with the duress there with them just having the one card in hand. So obviously, obviously, if I play duress, I don't get to play alpha. I can't play them both. 
All right, this one's over. I guess it's not over, over. I just need to draw removal for the night pack ambusher. And... It looks pretty over, though. We need Assassin's Trophy. Oh yeah, we played, yeah, it was, uh, it was called Selesnia Stompy. But yeah, it had Nightpack Ambusher and Tulsimer in it. And those two cards were pretty incredible together. Yeah, I made I made changes to Team Ergolos. Uh, yeah, I got yeah, I updated all these these decks. It, the updated lists are up on the are up on the, the stream decker page. But yeah, Demir Flash was a lot of fun. Hmm. Not playing tons of creatures if I play Vivian. No, I don't know when the season rewards go out. I don't think it's Im immediately. I could see it being a couple of days. I don't I don't remember. But I could see it being like I I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't today, basically. This card's very good when we have Shifting Ceratops, but not so good otherwise. Play Vivian instead of the Drover. I don't think it's a mulligan when we have shifting ceratops like this. I just hope they don't have ambusher, you know, like ambusher is like the the card. Yeah, I could have I could have cast flame. Yeah, I guess that's what I should have done there, Horst. Should have cast flame sweep in response to the ether gust. Draw the card off of Ripjaw Raptor, hope to hit assassin's trophy. I should have done that. Jund walkers around Vraska and three CMC Chandra and Sahili. I like those first two. I don't like Sahili at all, but yeah, Jund walkers with with Vraska, Sarkin, three three CMC Sahili, or sorry, three CMC Chandra. I'm in for that.
I don't think... I don't think Sahili is a, a powerful card unless you have... Unless you're playing some kind of creature like Crackling Drake that's really good to use the minus ability on. Or if you're playing just tons of spells. But still... A few one ones, you know. Even if it's just a, you know, three one ones, it's over a couple, over a few turns, it's just not very valuable. I'm not sure if I should actually be playing anything here or not. I guess I do. Yeah, things are just going to be eating some counters anyway, so we might as well play stuff. Oh, you just got your season rewards? Okay, cool. So maybe they're they're coming in now. I just didn't I didn't know when they would come in. I just basically So playing Registrar Alpha meant that uh, Ambusher would be pretty good. Like Ambusher would be able to come in, block like the three three and stuff. So I wanted to hold up Assassin's Trophy for the Ambusher, but it did make my play a lot worse against Frilled Mystic. I don't know about a lot worse, but made it worse against Frilled Mystic. So I want to see Regisaur, Rotting Regisaur or Rotting Raptor is not bad. I'm not I'm not winning this race anymore. I guess I was. Yeah, I was winning that race. What am I doing?
Yeah, we should be surviving here. You know, if they have if they have two removal spells, we're not. Yeah, we got it. Yep. Yeah, I got an Assassin's Trophy, uh, an Ambusher. It's a good call there. So we're going to have to go in full control. That's a good draw. That let's me play this and have Assassin's Trophy up. All right, full control mode. Activated. It's game one way or the other. But if they... Because, like, they probably had to hold up Ambusher to block Ceratops. And now they don't have enough for all this stuff. Because then they only have one other mana. <laughs> Yay! All right, got to win. <laughs> the anti-flash deck is just, it's basically, it's anti-flash, anti-control. It's just a bunch of cards that can't be countered. <laughs> it's pretty janky, but it's kind of cool. I think uh, we struggled, of course, with aggro with it. I I had even just more stuff against like control in the sideboard. I needed to have more anti-aggro stuff in the sideboard than what I did. Like the the four war bosses in the sideboard need to be anti-aggro cards. Turn two, Rotting Regisaur. Turn three, Galta. That's some, that's some big time creatures here. Oh, look at the little birdies. These little birdies about to get chomped. Mr. Chompers, coming for these birdies. Chomp, 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 chomp. Does that look like Mr. Mr. Chompers? That's Mama Chompers right there. Big Mama Chompers. <laughs> the, yeah, the birds did come to the wrong part of town. Okay. That's a good trade. Good trade for them. These birds still getting chomped, though. It's still three for one. chomped and that's why we play Galta pre-combat <laughs> the stopwatch thing is just telling you how much time you have in the match left you are allotted 30 minutes of time which doesn't basically does not come into play ever
I'm gonna keep the land in hand to discard to Mr. Chompers. No, we don't have any double strike instant. Yeah, healer's hawk v Golta. The hawk is healing, to be fair. So the Hawk deals damage and gains life. That probably evens out with Galta, right? Find the Hawk, I just peace out. Rally the wings. Is this overkill? Yes. Was this necessary because now they could get wrapped away? No. But I'm still playing him. Ah, uh, one mana short. They could settle these. That's fine. That's some battlefield battlefield shaking right there. Alright, we'll get some sweepers. Vivian gives reach, if that matters. It probably doesn't. I'll just play the sweepers and then therefore not play Land War Elf, and so we play some Marauders instead. Hmm. It's like not that great of a plan. Land War Elf is better than Marauder. Now you get back in here. Alright, I'm just going to cut two... Cut two Land War Elf for the two Flame Sweeps. Now, cutting... One Ripjaw, one Land War Elf, two Flame Sweeps. Twelve is greater than one. Hey, Angry Ben. Oh, yeah, all the dinos are rotating out. It's basically an Ixalot block deck. Hmm. Yeah, that Star of Extinction. Rough for those dinos. So I think I play commune on turn two to look for a land to flame sweep on three instead of turn two drover. Because otherwise, drover just dies to the flame sweep. Unless I want to do. No, we'll go drover. So I can go. I can go Drover into Ripjaw next turn, and then Flame Sweep, and draw a card, and also the Drover doesn't die. No, you don't. You won't get any wild cards for cards that rotate. Uh, Darn it. All right, flame sweep not not helping anymore.
Yeah, their thing, their creatures are pretty big now. I weighed that extra turn that I shouldn't have. Alright, we found the Ceratops, which gives us reach. If I attack out, Ugh. they block Rotting Regisaur and Ripjaw Raptor, and they take 11. Yeah, both their creatures will die. They can't they can't not block, basically. That's not a good block. Zero is not enough life. I mean more than zero. I had one. That's all you need. Corpse Knight. Corpse Knight. Alright, we're 2 0. Joan Dunn Ceiling. So far, we played against two blue decks, and the four main deck shifting Ceratops have been awesome. Do you think, from what you have played, the black dino decks are better than Gruel? I think so. I think that Rotting Regisaur is good enough to end the mana's just fine to that playing black is worth it. <laughs> Stupid birds, they evolved from dinosaurs and turned into wimps. <laughs> hmm. It's a lot of four drops. Let's try a different hand. Ooh, I like this. I like this. Uh, sure, you get rid of one of these things. Or... Maybe Blood Crypt? What do... Do we actually need black mana for anything in the main deck? No, just Rotting Regisaur? Yeah, so let's just get rid of Blood Crypt. It's actually just... The Stompy Ground casts Drover, Unsealing, and Land of War Elves, and Commune, and Savage Stomp. The only things that... Oh my gosh. We are doing it. Chat, we're doing it. Oh my gosh, this could be a slaughter. This could be a Sarkin slaughter here. Oh no! Okay, that's good. We want to see a bunch of small creatures. No, don't play that thing. Yeah, get rid of that. Ooh. Uh, Joyv. That's, that's who you're thinking of, Paul. You're thinking of Joyv. Path of Discovery. Alright, so they got a cool Rivals of Ixalan 4-man enchantment. I have a cool Court 19 rare enchantment. 
Y'all ready for a crazy turn? That's four damage to you and four damage to all your creatures. That's four damage to you, four damage to all your creatures. Oh, you don't have any creatures left. That's cool. They're at 12. Galt has 12 power. The Chupacabra always gets you. Hmm. Alright, I mean, we could lose this if they just have removal for Rotting Regisaur, if we, just, if we just don't draw anything forever. I mean, all we need to do is draw any creature that costs four CM, CMC 4 or more and they die. But if, if we don't, if we brick for, like, you know, ever, I guess we could lose this. We'd have to brick forever. Yeah, I said, yeah, power. If I said CMC, I meant power. All we have to draw is any dinosaur. Or commune with dinosaur that finds a dinosaur. Stomp. Yeah, I guess they could. Yeah, they could go wild growth, jade light, and gain some life back. But we stomping. All right, the citadel. I think it's time we stomp. Children, let this down. <laughs> oh, I guess it is past your lunchtime, isn't it, Hawkeye? I guess I need to feed you. I started the stream early. That's why you're up here. All right, I'll feed you after this league. Get you some food here. Um. Like we're gonna stomp people pretty fast. Veil of Summer. Veil of Summer seems like it makes a lot of sense here. Not so sure about the shifting ceratops. I mean, I want the Veil of Summers, but I want everything else here. Like, there's nothing really that I want to cut. I don't know what to do. This card's not very good in this matchup. I guess, like, if I take out two of those, is that two little creatures? No, it's probably it's probably good not creatures still. All right, we'll just take out two of those. Oh man, Hawkeye would love to get some lasagna. Thinks I'm mean to him because I never give him lasagna. Dinos. Hopefully 2-1. Darn it, it's a 3-2. 
It's three two trades with Drover and the the token and everything. That's the other ear scratch now. Dino Smash. This is a really difficult game to play. This is a tough one. That was all skill. Yeah, Storm. I bet, Storm, I bet you would have messed that one up real bad. You wouldn't have seen the, those lines of, you know, play your creatures and attack. That was a tough one. No, I don't think they chose to draw, draw first. I think they got stuck on lands. Yeah, Demir Flash 4 and 2. And Demir Flash was 4 0. And then we had some, some bad variants in the last two rounds. But Demir Flash was a lot of fun. And yeah, now Jund, Jund Unsealing doing good. Uh, I don't know anything about Kaikar being bugged on Arena. It's a possibility that exists in life, but I don't know anything about it. Um, I'm not really planning on doing limited in the future. Maybe, maybe I have a, a separate limited. Thing, but no, not, not a huge plan for that. Well, mono blue could be a little tough here. The counter red Reggie, uh, Redisaur Alpha. Hmm. I don't think I play into counter magic. Now we just resolve that thing. Galta, Galta, Galta. I'll take any dino. Um. All right, sweet. GGS. Well, we'll get these things in. Sweet. We're 4 0. Sea Storm, all skill. You probably would have messed that up. <laughs> so much skill I've used these last few rounds. All skill. Especially that game, too. All right, I'm not going to switch to final boss playlist. It didn't work last time. Let's keep our same playlist. We're on a roll. Our opponents know that that you need to get fed too, Hawkeye. That I know you want what you want your food. I'll feed you here after we win this this match here. All right, so. That's a mulligan. Don't do anything until turn four. I like this better.
Gotta make sure we can pay for Spell Pierce. All Shocklands. No, I don't want to attack. I don't want to trade with a pirate. So we got double Ceratops now. We've done. Is this the is this the fourth blue deck that we've played against where like Ceratops has been awesome? This is the second flash, and last round was mono blue. There was some other blue deck, right? Wasn't like round number two also a blue deck? Yeah. I remember saying that. That like we played against two blue decks where, where Ceratops was awesome. Dinos. Swift Warden. What is this? A Merfolk Warrior? A Merfolk? It's green. It's not blue. Get your cat butt off the screen. Hmm. Well, they can have, yeah, they can have, like, the, the Night Pack Ambusher. I don't think they're going to be able to counter this plus block Ceratops profitably. All right, so they counter that thing. Pencil. Pencil. I get this killer pencil, Hawkeye. All right, so some more Veil of Summers. So I think I took out the Sarkins on Ceilings last time. Just bring in Veil of Summer, Trophy. Should we just do that? I'm not sure if I really like the, the Flame Sweep idea. Especially if we see like the Swift Warden over there. I don't know, I guess I guess Sargons and Ceiling can like if they if they actually have like ambusher and everything, but we we resolve on ceiling, then you know they can go they could just go wide, but then we just cast something power seven or greater and it just wrecks them really bad. Yeah, I kinda want duress. Oh no, I just want everything. I can't play everything, it's sad.
Hmm. Maybe I should cut a Galta. Yeah, I should probably cut, I should cut a Galta. Oh no, all we have to do is just all we have to do is get the unsealing to resolve. The other creatures don't have to resolve. The other the other it's cast it's a cast trigger, so all we have to do is get unsealing to resolve. I mean I like this one, but turn four with no acceleration and no other interaction. Could be good enough. We'll see. Well, so far we've been chomping up the flash deck, so it doesn't seem like we need Carnage Tyrant so far. But yeah, Carnage... Carnage Tower, I think, would be a good sideboard card, though, just in general. It triggers the second part of Sarkhan's and Ceiling, too. Like, I'd rather have Carnage Tower than Regisaur Alpha in this matchup. Most certainly. Well, our first three draws, we didn't draw anything to do turn one, two, or three. A little rough. Please, no Nightpack Ambusher. No Ambusher, no Ambusher. Okay, good. It's not an Ambusher. Strange times. Yeah. So I wanted to see if they played. If they played Nightpack Ambusher, then I would have played the Sarkin's Unsealing and, and just gotten that thing to resolve, but they didn't. So I'm just going to get the other Ceratops in here. Hey, Dan. Not much. We got an extra long stream today. We're going all the way till midnight tonight. Hey, Dan getting that gifted sub from After Wizard. Very kind of you, After Wizards. Thank you so much, Santa After Wizard. Everybody get your hype boats there. It's been a while. Hey, I hope life's how's life going? I hope life is going good. <laughs> there you go. GG's. Okay, wow, what a fast league. That's a 5-0. Can't do any better than that. Okay. Get your sum summer traveling in. Ooh, we got a a rare that I don't that I don't own. So it must be a rare from the new set. But it's a rare I don't own. There's a Guilds of, a Guilds of Ravnica rare, an M20 rare, and an Icon of Ancestry, another M20 rare. Sweet. Farming gold here. 
Oh, hey, finally, we got this, the results. Uh, I need to work on my limited game. But constructed, Mythic Tier 1. Cool, it's Cruel Celebrant and Soul Diviner. Those are some good ones. And we got five packs. I don't hate limited. I just don't. I just don't play limited because I play. You know, I, I'm here every single day playing standard. Well, let's crack these packs open. Celebrate getting this 5-0. We got a Vilas. Of course, like like always, y'all. We really want to get uh, mythics. Mythics are more valuable than rares. For myself, it may not be different. It may be different for other people, but 0 for two on mythics. Come on, we want one mythic out of the five cards. That'd be that'd be nice. Oh, Akalia. Nice, that's awesome. There's a mythic. And that's the fourth Kalia. I already had three because we got the Kalia and Friends deck later. Can we get greedy and get a second? I already I forgot that card was in standard. Forgot about that one. Argus. Alright, not bad, not bad. So there we go. That was Jund Unsealing. Uh, what we learned is Shifting Ceratops is very good against the blue flash decks. We just played against like four blue decks. And we have four main deck. Like not only do we have four main deck Shifting Ceratops, but we also have the four commune with dinosaurs that are like dig five cards and look for a Shifting Ceratops. And so it just was not fair. Um, yeah, that's what we learned there. Um, sideboard, so like, honestly, our main deck played pretty well. I actually liked this main deck. I like the Drovers. Um, they were very good. The Land War also was good. Our mana was, was, our mana was good. It worked all the time. So yeah, this, this main deck was sweet. I think the only thing about the sideboard is I don't, I don't like the Marauding Raptors in the sideboard. I feel like this is either, like, you either play this or, or in the main or you don't have it. Like, this isn't really a card that there's like any matchups. I'm like, oh man, I want Marauding Raptors for this matchup specifically. The reason why I like Drover is more is because Drover ramps you into Sarkin's Unsealing, where Marauding Raptor, d Raptor does not ramp you into Sarkin's Unsealing. Um, so yeah, I, w I would recommend I wouldn't want to play these. But as far as like what to play, um, I think I would probably say you know we were talking about Carnage Tyrant. Carnage Tyrant would be a sweet one to have. Maybe get a couple of Carnage Tyrants in here. And besides that, it's like, like maybe you want Legion Send for the Scapeshift decks. You probably just want something for the Scapeshift decks. Um, we already have Flame Sweep though. Maybe like a couple Blood Suns. I mean, I just think I think just that having extra stuff for the 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 Scapeshift decks these days is really important. But I guess I guess Sarkins and Ceiling is awesome against the Scapeshift deck though too, isn't it? You play your thing with Power Seven, and it just kills all their stuff. And you have Flame Sweep already. Maybe you just don't even need that. So I don't know. We just have like extra sideboard slots that if if you have anything at home that you want to play, um, Legion's End of course, Blood Sun, Noxious Grasp, um, maybe some more uh, some more Card Advantage with Planeswalkers like Five Mana Vivian, um, kind of thing. Um, I, th I think Drover the Mighty is better than than Paradise Druid because it being a 3-3 three, three is, is pretty nice. They both add one man of any color, but this thing turns into a 3-3 three, three after you just play a Dino. Um, I don't know. Maybe just play a, a whole bunch of Carnage Tyrants. You know, maybe get another Veil of Summer, another Duress. You got, you got some more room to play with with these other sideboard slots. I don't think you really need four Carnage Tyrants. Um... Yeah, basically you just can't can't really go wrong. But, but uh, I don't know, I'll just just put this over here for now. But there we go. 
So yeah, that was a quick 5-0 with Jund on Ceiling. A pretty awesome little deck here. Sarkas and Ceiling is a sweet card. Uh, didn't get to use it too much, but it's a it's a really cool one. Um, the Gruel Split card that can deal damage to a creature or a Planeswalker. Yeah, we, we pr probably want some... I mean, I guess we have the Assassin's Trophies, but just more Planeswalker removal may not be that bad. But I don't know if you really want to change your deck up too much, though. Like, we're... Basically, I think, like... So where this deck could struggle is against, like, control decks that have a lot of removal. And a lot of sweepers. And a lot of good removal that takes out, like, these things. Again, like, I think that's where... I think that's, like, the... Like, where this deck would struggle the most. And so probably having something like 5 mana Vivian that just gives you good card advantage... Um, over time, I think that's that's honestly where I'd want to want to be. Just have some more card advantage things, like where you take out Galtas and maybe Ripjaw Raptor, or or actually probably even Rotting Regisaur because well, you'd take out Unsealing. So like Unsealing Galta, maybe even Rotting because that discard a card is is kind of rough in those. So like that's like a lot of cards you could take out and you can bring in uh, Duresses, Vivian, Vivian, Carnage Tyrant, kind of thing, Veil of Summer. But there we go. That's John Dunn Ceiling. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this deck. That was a quick one there. Um, and if so, don't forget, to hit that, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I would appreciate that. But that's it here for John Dunn Ceiling. Okay. You want to say, say bye to them? Thanks so much for watching. And I'm going to go feed Hawkeye now. Bye. Bye.